Experiments are being made by the American Navy so that deep sea divers may dive even deeper. Cylinders of oxygen and helium are mixed in certain proportions that the experts have worked out. And an ingenious plant regulates the supply each diver needs to probe the lower depths. The diver wears a stout rubber outer suit and an undersuit that's electrically heated. It's very cold in the vasty deep. So down he goes into the steel tank, and as he descends, the water pressure is increased. Except for the currents and the company of finny friends, the conditions are the same as those on actual service. With the hatch closed, the pressure is the same as the diver would meet 500 feet below the surface. And 500 feet is a remarkable depth. The result of these experiments will play a big part in the difficult and dangerous job of salvaging sunken ships. Not quite so modern, but quite as ingenious, is a three-wheeled car that made its first appearance the other day at Jamesburg, New Jersey. Yes, as you've guessed, it goes by steam. The whole contraption is made from bits of junk, including the stovepipe exhaust, and the Woiks are a wonderful example of what can be done with large lumps of old iron, a little steam, and a lot of patience. The flying dog kennel burns up the miles on burnt wood, but could you run as fast on a charcoal biscuit, Mrs. Worthington? <laughs>